today we're going to go through national days. So every month, one of the things that we focus on is how you can get make better use of national days. Now, by national days, I mean literally everything from the likes of Easter through to um, National Pet Day and things like that, because basically if you can harness some of the great content that's already out there for national days and some of the opportunities that are available um, for the national days, then you are, um, it just really helps you um, plan in your content for the rest of the month. So we're going to do a little look back at April. Um, looking at um, how some big brands and small brands managed to harness um, the national days and turned it into some really good content. Okay, here we go. So um, today what we're going to cover is using props on social media and how that can actually drive um, physical footfall. So we're looking at um, the connection between physical and digital. Um, we are going to look at collaborations um, with competitions in particular. Um, we're looking a little bit at um, being clear with your marketing messaging, so making sure that you're bang on it when it comes to knowing exactly what you want to say, what you want people to do off the back of the content, using, again, the National Days as a hook. Um, using national content to promote your services, so how you can actually um, just use some of the National Days to... Um, to create um, some really strong content around your services. And then we're going to talk a little bit about using social media to talk about the little things. So all the little things, I guess, that you do on a day-to-day -day basis to maybe surprise, delight your customers um, that actually you don't maybe talk about that much. So we are going to look at all those things today. <laughs> Now, one of the things that we do is we want you guys to um, prioritise your channels by learning from your competitors. So um, I find all of these amazing, um, all of these amazing businesses and the content by um, basically plugging it into Maybe. So I go into Maybe and so you can see here on the left hand side, there's hashtags. So um, if you don't have a direct competitor, for example, one of the things you can do is you can look up hashtags. So, for example, if for this, it would be um, hashtag National Pet Day. It might be hashtag Easter weekend, hashtag coordination obviously that's coming up and um, so it might be um, those ones and then what you can do is you can find other businesses and um, that are engaging in those but then you also might want to find um hashtag shop small for example we've got that in there hashtag um support small businesses and um, if you want to find other small um businesses that are doing really well on social so it's just a good way of you being able to find other businesses that you haven't found already um, and compare what you're doing versus what they are doing as well and essentially learning from them. So in the UK today, 79.1% um, of consumers um, spend over an hour on social media. Obviously, we spend slightly more than that, let's face it. Um, and um, we have 19% of businesses with an active social media account. So that tells me that there's a big gap in the market and we need to be filling it. So that's exactly what we're doing here today. That's what we're doing every day because we help over 25,000 businesses get more out of social media. Um, we give you guys a way of comparing your social media with any other business. Um, you can have a look at all the social media tools um, and insights you need to use social media effectively and access to expert resources and training to help you communicate better as well. So without further ado, we're going to get cracking. Um, and I can't even believe I made that pun, so I apologise, but we're going to look at Easter. So we are starting off with um, West Midlands Safari Park. Here we go. So what they did was um, they gave the animals um, in the Safari Park um, some really cute little Easter eggs to play with. Um, and let's have a look. I mean, look at that, it is gorgeous. So remember when it comes to the likes of Instagram, um, it's all about capturing people's attention. I want, to, if I'm sitting scrolling on my phone, I want to, to see something that would make me go, wow, I really want to click on that. Now, who wouldn't want to see what I assume is, I don't know, a painted hunting dog, something like that, I think it is. I used to work at the zoo, so I um, recognise some animals, but I might be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. But um, here we go. I can see that we've got lemurs. 
Oh, look at them. So these are basically what they've done is they have created, I guess, a physical little trail, if you like, for the animals all around the way um, all around the safari park. They've taken some images of it and they have shown that on social media. So, you know, it's not doing anything too over the top, too exciting, but they wanted to have a little nod towards the fact that it was Easter. Um, they want to attract people to come down. That's why they're using um, Instagram in the first place. It's, you know, their, their digital shop window, if you like. So they are trying to attract people down. And so they've taken these gorgeous little pictures. And, you know, animals always um, are always a winner on social media anyway. So obviously they're very lucky to have lots of beautiful animals here. Um, but it's just a really nice way of showing the physical and the digital by having some kind of nod to it in your business so even if you don't sell chocolate eggs and you didn't sell you know I don't know um, Easter products there would be nothing wrong with you know a lot of businesses did just put up say happy Easter for example um, but this is a really nice way of using social media um, and, the phys and the physical environment and putting it together because again that would make me want to book that would that's the whole point in this um in what they've done is it would make me want to book it so do sometimes think about when it comes to um when it comes to your social media and your physical environment if you've got a really cute something in your shop window if you've got um any pets that are involved in anything you know that there's no harm in giving them some little props and little things to then show on social media that you can have a little bit of fun um and enjoy it and as you can see what they've done is they've used um their hashtags so they've used happy easter easter sunday and then the, so they've done the mix of the national hashtags which is what we're talking about today the national content and they've mixed that with um the animals with wildlife animal photography wildlife photography as well so anybody who's looking for that kind of photography that might want to reshare it and um, they are they would find it that way as well okay so this is Inverness city center bid and so what they did was they um harnessed they wanted to again give a little nod to Easter. So they actually did um a little um collaboration, if you like, with um here you've got you've, you've got Eastgate Shopping Centre in the background. And here you go. So it's a like the fact let's click on it. I should actually click on it, shouldn't I? So this was on Facebook. You will find that actually a lot of places um, use Facebook more so than, or place management, if you like, and um, use Facebook more so than Instagram a lot of the time. And that's because Facebook very much encourages people to comment. So, you know, to, to ask a thing, to, you know, comment back on something, to discuss something. So here it says, congratulations to six-year-old Ellie Brown. Um, from Inverness, who's the lucky winner of the Great Easter Egg Hunt 2023 and received her £100 Inverness City Centre gift card um, prize. So she had to basically, they, um, so they publicised that you had to go around, find eggs, and then you had to guess the bunny's name, Twinkle Nose, with a little help from mum and dad. We hope you enjoy spending your prize, Ellie, and get the new scooter that you were hoping for. Um, Thank you to everyone who took part. We can't wait for next year. And then it says it's supported by Eastgate Shopping Centre. Now, this is fab because, again, the image would make you want to click on it because it's a lovely family and she's clearly won something which would make you do it. Um, the fact that they've taken the picture with the shopping centre in the background is great. So, again, it's giving them that extra little push. Um, it is a collaboration between Eastgate Shopping Centre and the bid. So, clearly, they have maybe funded the... Um, funded the voucher or it might be that actually um, the, the trail was around the shopping centre for example or they helped organise it but either way it's a really lovely way again of showing the physical <clears throat> excuse me the physical and the digital so they have created a physical trail they have publicised it on digitally on social media and they've done a collaboration between place and business so that is all the things that we talk about on a really regular basis, guys. It is, it is all about collaboration. It's all about working together. They've done the right thing. They've tagged them in it. Um, they have um, promoted it, obviously, before it on social media. They've taken pictures during it. And then afterwards, they've got here a really happy little girl. And they've even, you know, they've even put down that she wanted a scooter. So that shows that the person who was running it actually took some time 
to get to know them to ask what she would spend it on and um it's just it's really lovely and again they've used the hashtags they've got your Inverness city center um easter egg hunt um so they've got both the hashtags that i guess people would be using so so what they've done is they've harnessed easter if you like you know which is obviously it's a huge you know national thing um event campaign obviously religious as well um and then they have turned that into an opportunity for a business and a place to work together to drive physical footfall using a digital platform so it's if anybody if you're a shopping center on board um on here today if you are a um if you are even like you know a group of shops or, or in a place this is a great idea it's a great thing to do and it's so so easy Okay, so here we have the RNLI. If we're back to Instagram. Right. So they've created a reel where you can see that the lifeguards um, are doing some training. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to um, promote beach safety and to show that actually the RNLI um, have been doing a lot of training to get ready for the Easter break. So it is Easter again. It's half term. It is, you know, big national thing. We all, you know, talked about it, dealt with it, used it, um, took kids on holiday, all that kind of stuff. And obviously they know that a lot of people will be flocking down to the beaches over that Easter break. So they wanted to let them know that um, they're trained in casualty care, rescue, safety advice all around the UK. They monitor sea conditions and set up beach flags to let you know when it is safe to go in the water. Not sure, ask a lifeguard. Use the link in our bio to find your nearest lifeguarded beach. And then the footage of the thanked the um, lifeguards down in South Cornwall um, for providing the footage. So this is, again, all the things we talk about on social media. So this is about message. They wanted to show that they've been all, as you can see, they use very much their Instagram to show um, all the great um, team members and the training that they go through to keep the rest of us safe. They wanted to talk about the fact that, you know, they've been doing this. So they got the reel from them doing the training. And I don't know whether you noticed the song. So the song is safe and sound. So again, it's promoting safety. Again, all that kind of subliminal messaging, if you like. Um, but it shows that they're working hard. It, and then it, I guess it's to do a thing. So they want us to find their nearest lifeguarded beach over the Easter break. And they're sending us a link in the bio. So they've been very clear with their messaging. They want to keep us safe. It's Easter. They've used the, the Easter hook, if you like, to actually promote the, like all the great stuff that they do. And then they want us to... Um, to stay safe on the beaches and we they want us to find a nearest one that is lifeguarded um rather than one that isn't so it is just such a good idea and it's just a really really good way of doing it so it's when you're thinking about your content if you've got something very specific you want people to do just make sure that you've always got a call to action make sure that there's something in there that tells me exactly what it is you want me to do and I will go off and do it um and it's really good as well if you're using any footage from anybody else, just always make sure you tag them. And as you can see here, they've used all the national hashtags, school holidays, Easter holidays, half term, term break, term break fun, all that kind of thing. So yeah, really, really good. Love, love, love. Everyone knows I love a dog. It's either dog or food on here. So this is absolute project management. So I'm just going to click on it because, yeah, I, it's so cute. Here we are. So this is absolute project management. Um, it says, did you know it was National Pet Day? So we've moved on from Easter. We're now on to, um, we're now on to, uh, not looking at National Pet Day, which again was another big one over uh, over um, April. Absolute project management. Did you know it was National Pet Day this week? 
Have you heard of um, Barkitecture, interior design for dogs? Yes, it's a thing. Here's one we made earlier, creating a pet friendly home for our client with the addition of a bespoke dog shower. I mean, that is one lucky dog. Um, part of a full house renovation project completed in South London, see more on this project um, on our portfolio under Charlie and Michael in Balham. That's the design, they've tagged themselves in, making renovation happen in London and Brighton. Right, so this, all the things, right? So they have done exactly what we're gonna do at the end here. They have looked ahead and gone, um, okay, these are all the national days that are coming up in the next couple of months. And then they have then seen that it's National Pet Day and they have saved content, which, you know, basically they've, 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 they've taken the photos of, you know, they always take photos here, as you can see, like their before and after. You can see like some of the great work that they do. I mean, it's beautiful. They use our Instagram very much to show how gorgeous, you know, the, the, they can, what they do in a house, basically. That's what they do. You know, they, they um, renovate homes. So, but they've done this, which is a little picture of the lit of the dog in the little dog shower, super cute, which is obviously going to be a maybe more bespoke and unusual, did I say, um, project. And um, they have harnessed National um, National Pet Day to do it. So, you know, basically this, this for me is all about, um, you know, an interior designer that, uh, or, you know, a um, project company that have essentially used a national day to talk about an element of what they do and show off how great their services are. And what is going to attract you to that is the super cute picture of a little dog. That's what's going to attract you and um, down to click on it. And because again, it is in very different to all of the rest of their content. Um, so yeah, so with anything like this, um, make sure again that you're using all the right hashtags. So they have used dog shower, pet friendly. Um, so again, that's, you know, focused on, I guess, that, you know, the dog side of things. Um, but they have used um, all of the ones that I guess, you know, that people would be searching for if they were looking for maybe inspiration on what to do with their, um, what to do with their home, um, or if they do want a transformation of some kind. So here you can see interior designers, lots of interior modern spaces, interior design London. So again, that's going back to the place as well. And then you've got National Pet Day. And again, this is what we mean. Like, so here, that's basically what we do. You click on the content for National Pet Day and then you would see all the brands that have, um, that, and all the people that are, that were doing something on National Pet Day. See, super cute. Everyone was at it. Look how many people used that hashtag. So sticking with National Pet Day, this is Sophology. Now, most people will have heard of Sophology. They have a big old marketing budget in comparison to some of obviously our little independents. But I wanted to show you that this is a national brand that, you know, uses celebrities normally to promote their sofas. And instead they have, I mean, here, as you can see, um, like Helena Bon, bon Carter. Um, and instead they are using hashtag National Pet Month. Um, and they are using a cute little kitten sitting on a um, sitting on a couch, which again won't have cost them anywhere near what a big celebrity would have cost them. But here it says, pets have a special place in our hearts and in our homes. Um, National Pet Month, we want to celebrate our furry friends for the joy they give us. So basically they were saying from today until the 30th of April, they were going to donate 30 pounds to the Blue Cross, which is obviously the, the charity um, for every sofa order that includes an item in our pet friendly fabric to help um to help their amazing work for pets click the link to find out more about our pet friendly fab fabric and show our your um animal companion a little love and then this is Tallulah who is the cat so this is a lot of things so they have again looked ahead seen that it's national pet month and they have wanted to do something with it so they've gone right okay what can we do They've seen an opportunity thinking about their services and the products that they offer, which is pet friendly fabric. And then they've gone, how can we link those two together? How can we kind of, you know, like do it without, I guess, just selling? You know, how do you do it without just saying, oh, you know, it's National Pet Month, buy, buy our stuff. Instead, what they've done is they've, they've linked it with a cause. They've linked it with, you know, being able to give national content, um, so um, to give ch um, a, char a charitable element, sorry, through the national content. So they've linked it up with the, the Blue Cross. For every um, for everyone they do, they're donating £30. 
Um, and then they're asking you to do the thing. So to click the link in the bio to find out more. So it is ultimately about selling their product, but they have looked ahead, seen it's National Pet Month, thought, well, how, how can we promote our product without sell, sell, sell? And then they've done the collaboration. They've done the little vote. It's not even a collaboration. They're just doing a charity donation. So it's just such a nice idea. It's such a good way of um, of capitalizing on a national day or a national month. And as you can see, people have loved it and they've tagged in friends. Amazing supporting such a brilliant charity because people love people love it when you've got a cause. People, it's that human element. And then people also love pets, anything to do with their pets. People love their pets. So it's just such a good idea. So remember, when you're looking ahead at all of the national content and all the things that are coming up, think about what products you have that you could use um, to promote. You, know, you could use the national content to promote, uh, or it might indeed be a cause that you're working on. Here we go. This is very different. So really, really like this. So this is Hat Talks UK. So this is, um, she's a speech and language therapist. Um, and this is using a completely different national day. So this was World Autism Day. So this is basically all about, where, where have we gone? Sorry, it's not letting me do this one. I'll have to just show you on here. So sometimes Instagram doesn't work. So here, Cat Talks UK. Um, so this was neurodivergent people are awesome. So this was World Autism Day, which was basically all about celebrating um, anybody with autism, children, adults, everybody alike, and actually and promoting it as a day where actually we should celebrate the differences with people and how amazing anybody who is neurodivergent is. So she, um, they put this up um, and happy World Autism Day. I thought today was a good day to share this little book I've written for my neurodivergent clients um, at the end of our um, sessions, learning about neurodiversity and celebrating our differences and acknowledging our difficulties. Everyone receives a little book. And basically what she did was she just did a little, um, a little um, reel and it was just her, and it was kind of um, sharing little excerpts from her book which was just talking about how amazing everyone is. So it just says, you know, be, be proud to be your authentic neurodivergent self. It's all about promote using um, using World Autism Day to celebrate the differences and of course, acknowledge the difficulty. So it is such a lovely thing to do because she is promoting the little things that she does. Um, they are promoting the little things that they do for their clients. My clients have been so happy with their little books and some have even kept them underneath their pillows at home. So she, this is something that is, I guess, an addition to what, what she does, you know, so she works with clients who are neurodivergent um, and ha has used a national hashtag, AKA a national thing, a national celebration of anybody with autism awareness day, if you like, um, to as the hook to talk about the little things that she does for her clients. So we can all learn from that. It might be that actually there's a national day coming up, which is about an illness, for example. And it might be that you know someone who's overcome it and you want to celebrate them. It might be that actually you ran a marathon um, for this particular charity, for example. Use that, talk about it, talk about the little things that you do for your customers, for your clients, for your team, and the, all the things that go on behind the scenes. And actually for something like this as well, look at all the different hashtags that they've used. So celebrate you know, diversity, speech and language pathology, speech therapist, um, autistic girls, neurodiversion, celebrate autism. So again, anybody who would be following any of these hashtags are going to be interested in this post. So do remember that. So think again about the other hashtags that they're likely to be following. That's not just the national one. It's not just the World Autism Day. They would be following all of these. And then again, they're much more likely to be interested in what um, this lady has to say over, say, you know, a faceless brand. So it's just such a lovely, lovely, lovely thing to do. And it's just a good way of show, showing that you can use a national hashtag or national campaign to, um, to promote the little things that you do within your business. And then we have this one. So let's see if this works.
I'm going to take a little second. Thank you, Instagram. Here we go. This was World Health Day. This was another national or international, sorry, like worldwide um, hashtag. And this was a collaboration. So this was, um, here we go. This was um, basically an artist and a charity, which was the United Nations Population Fund. And they linked together um, in order to promote that they on World um, Health Day, they wanted to promote equal access to healthcare, no matter where you're from, no matter who you are. The, the healthcare is a human right. So they did a collaboration. And as you can see, it's the same image, but lots of different um, languages, which is incredible, because obviously, again, this is about, you know, across the world. So they're showing that actually um, they're showing the they're showing that they um I guess, you know, are being accessible, if you like. So today it says, today on World Health Day, we stand in solidarity with millions of people around the world who are advocating for equal access um, to healthcare as a basic human right. And. Um, and um, what and basically what they've done is they have um, they've they've used a collaboration to promote a, you know something that is very very important to them. Now I know that this is a bit unusual and a little bit different, but anybody can learn for something like this. Anybody can learn from the fact that um, anybody can learn from collaborations. And again, things like working with a local artist, working with a local um, photographer, working with a local videographer can be a really lovely way of promoting um, the amazing things that you do and promoting, I guess, you know, the cause. So whilst everybody has their own views, it's all about having, you know, standing up behind a cause. And then they have used the national hashtag, um, sorry, the international hashtag, um, World Health Day, as a way of promoting something that they talk about on a regular basis. So again, slightly different, but I just want to show you that there's different national days, there's different international days, different world days, and that are, there, there are different ways of you being able to collaborate, to talk about something, to, um, to, um, work with someone else, I guess, to promote what it is you want to see. So speaking of national days, let's have a look. Let's see what's coming up. So we have um, put together all of the national campaigns, the worldwide stuff, the months, the days, the weeks. Um, we have a mix of, so there's, there's thousands of them, but you know, there's a mix of the charitable ones, there's a mix of the, as I said, there's illnesses, um, and then there's like really silly ones um, as well. And you can get behind any of them. So it's just about what one speaks more, more to you and which one speaks more to your um, customers and clients, I guess. Um, let's have a little look. Okay, so I think we're already in May. I'm going to crack on with June. How are we in May? Just no idea how that happened. Okay. So here we go. So it is Bike Week. 5th of June, it is Bike Week. So Bike week obviously could be a really good way of you. Um, it might be that actually you are a bike a, a bike shop. You might be uh someone who sells um fitness related products. You know, like a, a like a gym, or you might be a personal trainer, or indeed you might just be a, working in a coffee shop and that you bike to work. Use it, talk about it, show your videos, show your reels on on um on International Bike Week. So here, what we've done is we've put down the date and then we've put down some content as well. We want to encourage as many people as possible to get out there and enjoy the community on their bikes. So it might be that you're a place and you want to show um, the amazing cycle trails that you have around your area as a tourism sort of situation. So you can use those hashtags and those national days to really bring, to really show so many different things. So it might be to sell a product or it might be to promote a service or it might be to show the human element. So, you know, that you all cycle to work, for example. Um, let's see another one. There you go, National Best Friends Day. June the 8th is um, National Best Friends Day. We're celebrating friendships are important to us. And then the, we've put some content in here about um, the different research that's been done into benefits of friendship and how they, the, how they celebrate, uh, sorry, how they enrich our lives. Now, any business can do this. 
any business can use this. Any business can talk about, you know, it might be your work bestie. It might be that your dog's your best friend. It might be talking about your kids. It might be talking about um, friends at work. You might ask people, you might do a competition that day to tag in, you know, like tag in your bestie that you want to win this. It might be two places that are working together, actually, that normally maybe, you know, like might rival, for example, and actually you get together on National Best Friends Day to show peace. There you go. I come up with about five different things in the space of two minutes because this is what this does. This national content will help you come up with content yourself. So this is why it's so important to have a look at it. And then you've got Men's Health Week is a huge one. So um, that's the 12th to the 18th of June. Um, anything to do with me in men's health and um, it's going to be massive so that'll be something that loads of businesses are getting behind loads of people are talking about it might be mental health physical health it might be an ailment it might be that actually you um have you want to do something for a charity it might be that you want to do a skydive for example anything at all there'll be so many things that you can talk about or it might be all the little things that you do to promote um health um for your male customers for example So as you can see, there's so many amazing opportunities over the next few months. So just use them, you know, like use, this is what we do at week in and week out. We provide you guys with the tools and the support you need in order to get this done. So we've done the, con we've done, um, you know, we've got the platform, which basically allows you to schedule in. It allows you to um, do advertising. It allows you to report and it allows you to learn from competitors then we do this. So every week we've got Monday, how to use maybe, Tuesday, oops. Uh, Tuesday, how to use maybe, um, sorry, Monday, how to use maybe, to, uh, Tuesday is social media basics. So literally how to do a reel, that kind of thing. Wednesday is me talking all this kind of stuff. Um, Thursday is ads for beginners. Friday, advanced ads. Um, and then you've got the, all the training. So we create videos, video content for you um, all the time where and it's everything you know like I don't know how a butcher used a hashtag to drive footfall for example there'll be loads of different ones and um, that we that we've got on there so please feel free to go in and actually use it um but this is what we do we want you guys to get as strong as you can at social media um and the national days um really help you with that we've also got some amazing tools on there just now as well if you haven't seen our amazing new um AI um AI um, bit on the platform where we now actually not only give you the hashtag, we've now given you um, a way of actually developing content if you're struggling. Now, key takeaways. Um, using props and trails can be a gimmick for social media, but it can also drive physical footfalls. Think about the safari park. Think about the, um, the shopping centre collaborating with the, the bid, for example. Um, and speaking of collaboration, so collaborate on social media to drive more engagement for your competitions. You don't have to do everything alone. You might as well maximize if you've got another business um, or another, um, but yeah, another business in your place that has um, a really good social media. There'd be nothing wrong with you saying, you know what, let's do a collaboration. Let's, you know, maximize um, and build on each other's reach and engagement. Um, get really focused on your messaging, creating content around the National Day. So thinking about the RNLI, thinking about, um, you know, they, they told us exactly what they wanted us to do and they focused the national, um, con the content around the National Day, but it was actually to get us to do a thing, which was to be safer. Um, use national content to talk about what you do. That's going back to the um, neurodiversity. That was going back to, so neurodivergent, that was going back to, um, the the charitable side of things that is going back to the you know the, the lovely little things that you do for your customers and your team members in the background that actually you know you don't talk about um and just make it make sure you set up your maybe account and get started because that's what we do here day in and day out we want you guys to get stronger at social so make sure that you get cracking and get set up um use all the tools at your disposal if you've ever got any questions at all that's what the little blue button's for on the platform. Click on it. There's loads of um, really good blogs that we've created. Um, but you can also get access to our team member as well. And we can help you.